my name is Sumeya Omar and I am co-founder of Hashtag Our Stories. We train communities around the world to tell stories using their mobile phones and we create shows out of these stories. We visited over 40 countries within the last five months. Um, and yeah, we're really about empowering people not we don't want to be the voice of people but we want to empower them to amplify their own voices um, a large part of our of our uh, stories storytelling is done via a mobile phone so everything that we do is shot edited published and then also engaged through the mobile phone with what you call mojos or mobile journalists um, and everything that we do is made with the consideration for mobile optimized content how is this piece of content going to look on a mobile phone how is it going to be consumed on a mobile phone um, yeah and how are people going to engage with it on a mobile phone me personally I'm actually not a journalist I come from corporate banking I come from a finance and economics background so I know what it's like to feel overwhelmed by everything that's around us with all the formats and all the platforms so I would say the thing that people should do and that young people should do and they already are doing to some extent is literally just to experiment to go out there and try different things don't be afraid to produce stories that are different to what you're seeing on traditional media and what you're seeing on television and online um, don't be afraid to try different things and, and just experiment my three tips to producing really great content for social media and for online audiences is firstly always think about by mobile for mobile so you're not necessarily just creating on a mobile but by creating on a mobile it's allowing you to think about how a mobile audience is consuming that content are the subtitles too big are the are people watching with the sound off or are they watching with the sound on should you be producing in vertical versus landscape what platform so I would say that always think about um, what it's going to look like on a mobile phone the other thing very important is to always look beyond the gimmicks a lot of what I show and a lot of what I use is on snapchat on Instagram stories and they come across as very frivolous apps as apps that are made for teenagers sharing nudies or just doing silly things on them with face filters and doggy filters and crowns and things like that but actually they're really good they're amazing technology that's already built into your mobile phones and so it's about understanding the technology and then using it to tell better stories um, so I would say those two things and then also you don't need fancy equipment you don't need the best mic you don't need the best phone we work with communities around the world who have different levels of phones who not ne doesn't don't necessarily have an iPhone or the latest phone but it's the story is always at the center of everything that we do it's about telling a good story and about engaging that content while it's online if you all you need is a mobile phone and your headphones which you can use as a mic and that is all you need to tell a great story everything that you've mentioned I literally use snapchat for those things so if I go on to snapchat I can very quickly do an interview so I can look at you and you can be talking so I so I already have the video I can add filters yes easy so that already makes it look better I can add text like you said I want to add that I'm a GMF I can do that I can even change the color and then I can even add even more value by putting in other filters like where I am so this one says it's 1238 which is a verification stamp to say that this was the time it was taken and it shows me where I am I'm in Bonn so everything for me we use uh, snapchat as a content creation tool because it's really good for content creation I can do all of the stuff like as a normal video editor I can do everything on snapchat and on Instagram stories but it's basically this concept of the stories feature being a video editor